Mill Kart Club for round six of the Kart Club Championships for 2019. Good start from, uh, I think that was the number 47 of Zane Khan off the front row of the grid. Away they go then for eight minutes plus one lap and straight away the number 49 of Bobby Rosier in the uh, black and yellow cart. Is that a good start? And there's a spin, big spin already. That's the number 75 of Harrison Morrow off and in the grass on the run up to Christmas. Not a good start for Harrison's racing today at all, but at the, at the front, Bobby Rosier has got a very, very good start and a bit of a lead as they go through Ashby for the first time. Yellow flags you can see out there on Marshall Post C. That is for the incident involving Harrison Morrow up at Christmas Corner. As the field comes onto the back straight now and then prepares themselves for the boot. A good chance to get overtaken. You can see the number 44 having a look there. That's uh, Ryo Taro Sakai. Almost four wide of the 35 has a massive moment coming into the, final, the very final corner. Uh, that's Harrison Crowther. Contact warning for the number 33 of Aston McAndrew Wren early on there, but it's Bobby Rosier leading from Jack Stewart. St. Khan third. Casey Lynch up seven positions on lap one to four. There's all kinds of jostling on the run up to Christmas uh, again. The incident involving Harrison Morrow must have been cleared uh, by that point. But very tight racing as always from the Honda Cadets early here in Heat one, here's the number 54, having a look at the 83, oh, almost a little bit of contact there, the 54 of Devon Nolan, uh, trying to get back past Alfie Richards, and losing out there to the number 12, which is Lewis Islin. 38 now, having a look, Kaiser Ryan. Start uh, in the top 26 minutes plus one lap of this one to go. Of course, all these heat races will absolutely fly by, especially if they carry on like this. End of lap two, then Bobby Rosie still leads by 0.9 of a second ahead of Jack Stewart. Casey Lynch third, and here's a move being done here by uh, I think that's the number 41. Yes, it is. Casey Lynch goes up to second place there. Casey Lynch passed Jack Stewart on the run up to Christmas. Textbook maneuver there from Lynch. That's another position for Lynch. He started uh, on the first couple of rows. Fourth after lap, uh, lap one, third after lap two, and something like the second now at the end of lap three. Fastest driver out there at the moment is Aston McCandell uh, and Red in sixth place. Fast there, 93 of Joshua Patch going past. Jack Stewart. So Jack Stewart down a couple of positions on that last lap. Rose is still leading from Lynch by just over 0.9 of a second. See Ren Stewart overlap that time to make a move into Christmas. And you have a little look down here into Ashby Corner. Almost this very tricky corner downhill. Uh, gravity likes to work against you. Easier said than done to make a clean overtake on the brakes into that corner. Candy Nguyen, no he's got a contact warning already. Just taking things nice and calm at this stage. No need to make a mess of the day at this stage of the season. He's looking a little bit quicker at the moment than Jack Stewart. And final four minutes to finish lap four. Still Bobby Rosier leading. He is being caught now by Casey Lynch about two tenths of a second. Oh, big spin there, and that's the number 57 going on. That's Jack Stewart. So that's Jack Stewart, who was fighting for fourth place with uh, Aston McAndrew Nguyen. And I think that might have been a bit of contact, or well, must have been a bit of contact to initiate that through the kink on the run up to Christmas. That's coming out of the crook. Not good news for Jack Stewart at all. There's also been a problem with Joe Cheek. He's also not come through the first sector, he was in 12th place. So we'll try and catch sight of where those two drivers are as they come back through. Three and a half minutes to go, we're back with our battle for the lead. And Casey Lynch continuing to close in now on Bobby Rosier. Let's have a look at the lap times. Yes, four tenths of a second quicker that time for Lynch over Rosier. Lynch will have a good run here and a bit of a slipstream up to Christmas Corner. I don't want to fight too much though, Joshua Patrick's just there, but up the inside from Casey Lynch, clean move there once again, 
takes the lead here in Honda Cadets in heat one. Off past the corner, from the three-way scrap now. Oh, looking up the inside again. The number 49, Bobby Rosie, goes back to the lead and retakes it. Very bold move there into the left-hander. It caught uh, Lynch a little bit by surprise there. Bobby Rosie back to the front. Looks like Joshua Patch has followed through as well. And now Joshua Patch is going for the lead. Yes, he is into the boot. Great move there from Joshua Patch. Currently sixth in the championship after five rounds of the season. And there it is, the score. New leader there at the top of the standings. Bobby Rosier in second place now. Casey Lynch goes down to third. And now they start squabbling. Now this is interesting as Lynch goes back up the inside of Rosier because this is encouraging Aston McAndrew Uren and uh, Spencer Brotham. In fourth and fifth there. Is it pulling along? I think it's Ryotaro Sakai as well. Yes, in the 44. So we could have a six way scrap for the lead here in Heat 1. Honda Cadet Racing all about momentum. How many times have we seen leads change at the end of the race? Very, very quickly. We've had a test before where you've gone uh, five cars into the boot and you drive a good pace and then they've been winning the race. Could be another example of that here. One and a half minutes to go, plus one lap. So by my reckoning, we should have three more laps. Time will expire on the next lap after this one. We'll have another one. You can see the number 93 there. Ten drives behind. Let's pull it together. Let's not fight. Let's not encourage that second trio behind us to get involved in this battle for the lead. And I think the ancient roles here have started obliging uh, that notion. Spencer Brooklyn has made it up to fourth place and it's a little bit left apart. So he's the highest ranked driver from here today in Honda No Owen Simmons, no Oscar Tutu, no Richard Gibbons. He just coming round the final corner there. 36 seconds to go. The time will expire on this particular lap. The next time around they will see the final lap board. Will Patch get the push up the hill from Lynch again? Oh, looks like they are just holding station. Oh, it's that second trio. About three tenths of a second quicker on that last lap. And up the inside goes Bobby Rosier. Rosier goes for it for second place and takes it off Casey Lynch. And running a little bit wide there was Lynch. And look at this. Uh, Brotham, McAndrew Uren and Sakai are all in there now. And poor Casey Lynch is being swamped here. As through goes McAndrew Uren. As I think Brotham got through as well. Brotham did get through. Good running this. Lap, uh, last lap board will be out this time around. There it is. Joshua Patch sees it over the line. Joshua Patch has had one heat win so far this season at Hilton Mill Park. But can he hold on here for a second? Bobby Rosier has a little check over the shoulder. Here comes the defensive driving. It's all to play for now in this first heat as Sakai goes up the inside of uh, Lynch so that's Sakai up to fifth place now good day so far and up the inside goes Brotham great move there into Ashby corner past Rosie for second place attempting to defend now this is where uh, Rosie took the lead back earlier in the race there's two tricky left hands as they come onto the back straight but it's played into the hands of Joshua Patch here Ruffin's having to go defensive again. I think Joshua Patch has got this sewn up. Round the toe of the boot, round the heel, final corner. And Joshua Patch is going to take his second heat win of the season. A great control, great control through that race. He takes maximum number of points there in heat one. Uh, Spencer Ruffin takes second. Bobby Rosier should be happy with that third place. He controls.